guys, how we doing today? I'm coming to you to make a birthday card for my coworker to go with the presents that I end up making for her. So right now what I'm gonna end up doing is gluing all of this together. So I end up using the paper pack happy place and I got this really cool paper and it matches the colors of what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna pull that on the side and I'm gonna bring down my paper cuts and I got my images from Cricut. I really don't know uh, what cartridge, but if you just do a search for butterfly and for happy birthday, you can end, end up getting it. For the happy birthday, I did a double offset. So I have an offset from the name, from the word, and then an offset, just a solid block, okay? And then I also did an offset no, I didn't. I didn't do no offset. This is that's comes with. So I'm just gonna put this on the side and I'm gonna bring my glue in and we're gonna start putting this card together. So it's been a while since I've created a card. Let me bring you guys down. And I am super excited. I haven't been making no cards because it's been hard to come out and design stuff. So, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my happy birthday and I'm cutting this out of some foil cardstock, glitter paper, and then just black cardstock for the back. So now I'm just going to take these words and I'm going to add glue to the back. And I'm using this old glue that I got from the Scrap Expo. So now I'm just going to put the birthday down. And I usually like to pop up stuff. But since I am not prepared, I don't have a lot of card making stuff out. I'm just going to leave it flat. Okay. So that looks good. Look at how cool that looks. And now we're going to take this. And add it to our base that we made. Putting it the right way, of course. And look at how cool that looks. I love foil paper. I love glitter. It really accentuates your, your project, your cut, your design. That looks good right there there and that's what my title says happy birthday let me put this up a little bit okay that looks better okay so the next thing we're gonna do is do our butterfly as you can see i'm limited with my tools because i don't have nothing out here i don't have my tweezers Okay, so now I'm just going to add this to the middle, just like that. That looks pretty cool. Okay. I love this butterfly, and the colors really look good also. So now, next thing you're going to do, I'm going to put my wings on. Just going to follow the pattern that they have. Line everything up. And with this art glitter glue, you have a couple of seconds to adjust your stuff before it seals. Now I'm just going to take my other and lay it with the cut sides, lining up everything, making sure that it lines up on the black part. Okay, now I got my backing, and what I want to do with this, I just want to add glue to the middle of the butterfly. Okay, and now I'm just going to add this to the middle of my butterfly. 
Raising up the wings. Okay. And that looks good right there. I'm gonna use some foam tape and I'm going to double up my foam tape and then I'm gonna put some foam tape underneath okay so I cut six pieces out so now I want to lift up my wing and I'm gonna add double-sided tape right here Okay, so now I'm gonna add and press down. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the other side the same way. I lift it up. I'm gonna add double-sided tape to the top, the bottom, and the middle. And make sure that your double-sided tape does not show on the outside. Okay, and now I'm just going to press down on it just like on the other side and look at how cool that butterfly looks now we're gonna finish decorating it because it's still got some pieces to it just like that then I'm gonna do the other one okay so there goes that part making sure it's down and I'm just going to lay this right here oh that's looking so nice okay and now one last piece. Now look at how awesome that looks. That is so pretty. And now I'm just going to finish the other side. Okay, so I am done with my butterfly and my sentiment. So now I'm going to bring in my cardstock. So I have a four and a quarter by 11, and I'm going to score this at five and a half. So by me scoring it, I'm just going to bring in my cutter. And I'm going to score this at five and a half. So you leave it at five and a half. You bring the cutter down. And then you score. And as you can see, it gives you a straight line. And I'm creasing it. And there goes my card base. And I have this pink card stock. And I'm going to layer that down. Then I have this green cardstock. I have to cut this down some. Okay, so now and I'm just going to add this to the middle. Make sure it's even before you lay it down. Okay. Now I have my green layer. I'm going to put some glue, some tape on it and I'll be back. I'm going to line this up, making sure that everything is lined up good. And there goes the inside of the cart. Now let's do the outside. Okay, so now I'm just going to lay my base down. And I'm going to center it. And that looks good right there. And I'm just going to press down on it. And then I'm going to add my black layer. And that looks... No. Just going to add that right there. 
and that's what my base looks like it looks pretty cool now i'm going to come in with my designer paper and i don't know if i should put it this way or have it this way i think i want to have it this way so now i'm just going to line it up and that looks good right there and there goes my design paper now for the last things I could definitely pop up my name and that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to add my sentiment and I'm going to put it in a slant. Okay. And that looks good. That looks real good, guys. Now the next thing is I'm going to take my butterfly and... I do not want the base to go down either. So I'm only going to put glue in the middle. And I'm going to have my wings popping up. So I'm going to have it like this. Okay, so now I'm just going to add some glue. Okay, so now I got my butterfly all glued up. Now I'm going to put it on a slant. Press down on it just in the middle. I'm going to prop these up. And I think I'm going to put foam tape on the back of it. Okay, so now I'm going to... Take the backing off of that one. And now I'm going to press down on that. And it's missing one or two things. So let's see what I can find. Okay, so I found these little gems. And now I'm just going to place one so it could imitate to be the head. And now I got one gem that's going to go right up there. That's going to go on the bottom right here. In the middle, I mean. And then I got one more I'm going to place down here. And I am finished with my card. Now, maybe later on, I'll probably stamp a saying in the inside. But overall, there goes my card, guys. I really hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this card, please thumbs it up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. You guys could come and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I'm in all of those websites and just doing my thing, guys. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.